finally have some time to get out to the woods and do some initial scouting so hopefully we can get something let's go before i get into the actual video i wanted to provide context of the land um, because i didn't do a very good job at explaining anything and i honestly didn't record a lot so hopefully this can provide you with a high level view of how i went about it so last year during the hunting season i found a i found a big rub right here at the top and so the idea was to hit this first and then hit this island here in this bottom corner down here and so the way that i went about it was there's this parking here and this piece of land is about a mile wide um and nothing is to scale of course it's open woods there's pines and there's this this creek right here in blue so i just made a beeline straight to to the rub found it and then I wanted to get across to the island. And so I made my way to this edge of the creek and then kind of navigated the thick, sc thick stuff to find bedding and so forth. And so in order to get onto this land where the island is, and this is all swamp over here, I had to cross the creek here, cross the creek here, and then there are these trees, these T's that are circled. I wanted to go to those to see if there are any beds under there any old ones or any new ones and so i went to this one first and mind you this is a swamp so there's no trails or anything so it's pretty tiring to get through i get to this one and then i find there's nothing there and i decided to go to this one this one that's down here i'm not sure if you can see that but then there's this field of those yellow flowers and just a bunch of bees everywhere and to avoid being stung I decided to kind of backtrack and go around it and then I found a bunch of beds where this bee is here um, I'm assuming it's a bunch of dough beds old dough beds that is made a note of it and then made my way onto the island where I found a bed on this side found a bed down here then also found a scrape and then as I went through the island, did my thing, I decided to come out onto the, the right side of the creek and just make my way through it. And then this is on this side of the creek. This is where you'll see in the video where I found two good crossings. Um, and that's basically, yeah, I just came back, went on my trail, and then just kind of followed my way back all the way back to the parking. So hopefully that helps a little. So I finally got to the spot that I wanted to come back to from last year. There's this rub that I saw last year and that was kind of my starting point. And from last year, but it was a starting point. So see if I can find anything from here. Whew. I'm way back here now in the swamp. There's a little island. Came onto the island. There's a lot of, there's a lot of beds right on the edge as I suspected. Found a scrape, old scrape. Um, it's hard to hunt in here though. Just makes a little hill, a little, little hill and I think thermals would just drop down right where the deer would come. But first good sign so far. Let's keep going. All right, finally found a decent crossing with some good tracks come up out of the swamp right here across the little creek and up to the other side no trees to hang right here though found another decent crossing right here up to the other side it's interesting though it looks like a lot of these deer are just using this small edge just to by the creek just to get through well that does it for the first scouting session of the season um 
didn't find much. Found a couple beds on this island that I really wanted to get to and saw uh, a scrape. Um, wasn't really expecting to bump any deer because I was way back there. I'm betting that all the deer are really close to the, um, Jesus, really close to the, the food sources. Um, it was more so just trying to get to places that I've always wanted to get to and, and I couldn't do it in the previous season so I tried to do it this year so we'll see if I can get some more um, some more scouting sessions in so stay tuned.